Hello and welcome to Technical Drawing Solution. This is DN Kamau. Today I want to show you how to do first angle orthographic projection of the diagram given below. So the question reads, draw the given figure in first angle orthographic projection. So how do we do that? The first thing we need to do is to draw a Cartesian plane or crosshairs to help us do this thing. So here we have a drawing of what we need to put in orthographic projection. And we have been given the front elevation as having this direction. And therefore what we are seeing is the yellow part. That is what we are going to draw as the front elevation. And in the first angle projection, what you have to have in mind is that the plan will always be below the front elevation. So we shall start by drawing the front elevation right on this quarter here and since we know that uh, the dimensions are 70 by 50 and so on uh, we need to have uh, a clear distance here of 20 from the vertical and 20 from the horizontal So we shall measure uh, not uh, 20 but 30 from uh, the vertical and 20 from the horizontal. You can have it at any distance. Uh, you can have it at 20 or any other distance. So for this uh, matter, we have uh, chosen uh, 30 millimeters from the vertical and 30 millimeters from the horizontal so that our diagram starts exactly at that point. Uh, which will be this end point here and therefore we'll need to draw 70 millimeters across like that so um, we draw these 70 millimeters and um, it has to be in construction line every line that we shall draw here will be in construction line until uh, we finish these dimensions uh, should not be done as you continue. Uh, I've just put the dimensions here for the purpose of uh, giving you the, the, the insight on what we are measuring. Otherwise, you only need to draw this line and that line. So this line is 70 millimeters and this line is 30 millimeters, meaning uh, we have drawn this line which is 70 and this rising line which is 30 millimeters. Next, uh, we draw this return line, this return line here which should be 70 minus 40 that gives you 30. So we draw that uh, return line. Remember that this angle here is 90, this one is 90. They only appear as if they are not 90 because uh, this diagram is in isometric and therefore in three dimension but the, the one we are drawing is in uh, 2d and therefore all these angles are 90. then next just to draw the top line once you clear that top line then you have finished drawing this and as you can see here, uh, this line here is 70 millimeters, this one is 50, and then the top part here is 40 as indicated here, and this uh, line here 20 millimeters, and therefore this one uh, is 30 millimeters. So if you look at this shape here, you will see that this yellow shape yeah, is the one that we have drawn here, 
only that this is in isometric and this is in orthography. So once we have drawn that, then we need to draw the other uh, views, the other views. And therefore, we project lines at every corner, project lines at every corner. These lines um, will help us to draw the plan, which will posi be positioned here, and the elevation, which will be positioned there. So draw uh, those um, extension lines, extension lines to enable you to draw from uh, 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 end and uh, plan. Next, uh, we have chosen to uh, start with the end elevation, and therefore we are drawing one line. So here we are going to see this blue rectangle and this other blue rectangle but we are going to see them as if there are two rectangles on top of each other so that we shall have the lower rectangle which is 30 uh, millimeters uh, falling down here and the upper rectangle which is 20 millimeters uh, coming up here so we shall have those uh, two rectangles stacked on top of uh, and therefore, looking at this, you will now be able to see that the width here, the width here is 40. The width is 40, so this is 40. And we have the lower rectangle here as uh, 30 by 40, and the upper rectangle as 20 by 40. So the end elevation is also complete. And therefore, we move on to the uh, plan. So to draw the plan, we shall need to have a deflection line, a deflection line here of 45 degrees, so that all the projection lines hitting that deflection line will be deflected at uh, 40, uh, at, at 90 degrees, and therefore will uh, transfer the measurement we have here. So having that, then draw that uh, 45 degrees, the 45 degrees line, and project these lines to hit that uh, deflection line so that they are deflected and that will give us so here we have with those lines projected to the deflection line those two lines and then they are deflected at uh, 90 degrees uh, so we are actually borrowing the radius here which is 40 I mean the the, um, um, the dimension here which is 40 so this 40 is already here because from here up to there is 40 millimeters uh, having been deflected from here and therefore uh, we have gotten that uh, remember that this is also 30 from here up to here and from here up to there is 30 so all around the Cartesian plane and the cross uh, we have maintained 30 millimeters and how have we done that by the construction that we have done here so basically this is the plan uh, and we need to now highlight it you see that the plan has come automatically by projecting the upper lines downwards and projecting these lines uh, this has given us 40 millimeters and this one from up here is 30 millimeters which if you check here you see that this is 30 millimeters uh, because we are drawing now the red part down here uh, this is 30 millimeters by 40 millimeters so this will also be 30 by 40 and then the upper one will be the upper one will be uh, 40 by 40 therefore we have this 40 by 40 and we have this 30 by 40 
so the uh, plan is complete and uh, what we can see here is the plan this is uh, the top here and this is the step here what you can see from above is only the red part the red rectangles two red rectangles that's what you can see from above you are unable to see this blue since it is parallel to your eyesight this is also parallel to your eyesight and the yellow part is also parallel to your eyesight so the only thing that you can see is the red top and you would see them as if they are two uh, rectangles looking at it from this side then the only thing you are able to see is the yellow part the yellow part the blue part of course is here the other blue part is here the red part is on top here and the red part is on top here but since they are all parallel to your eyesight you wouldn't be able to see them same thing to um, looking at it from this end elevation you are only able to see this blue part and this blue part um, and since you are looking in that direction uh, the yellow part is parallel to your eyesight the red part is also parallel to your eyesight and this other red part is parallel to your eyesight so the only thing you are able to see is the rectangle uh, blue rectangle on top of the other blue rectangle so um, up to this point uh, we have finished the front elevation end elevation and plan so um, we need to highlight the plan so that now we have uh, everything in finish line and this is where now you can do your dimensioning you can do your dimension you don't need to dimension this you only dimension the diagram and uh, this is how you should present your diagram and uh, the Cartesian plane and the projection lines should be uh, very thin and light such that they are not uh, visible so your diagram uh, should look like this with the projection lines being uh, at the background yeah? they are there but they are not visible that's how your work should look thank you for watching